Hi there learners and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about compass direction. So this is around about chapter 5 of your maths lit uh, textbook. So we're looking at compass direction. Now bear the following in mind. The general direction of a map and the maps that you'll be given in the examples must always be shown. Okay, and you'll see from the examples that we show you. This could be in the form of two things. Number one, it could be a compass direction or it could be in the form of bearing or degrees. So let's look at one or two um, examples quickly. So this is what your compass points will look like. There's your compass and you can see you've got your main points north, east, south and west. But then again in between these you've got north, north, northeast, northeast, east, northeast, east and you get the point. Okay, so those are your compass points and generally they will give you um, you know, a few of these or just the main ones or just indicate, you know, which direction is north, etc. So again, this must be shown on the map. Otherwise, you won't know. Okay, you, you, you'll have no idea. The compass directions can only be used to describe an approximate location. So please bear this in mind, especially when you read through your scenarios. When people need more accurate readings, they make use of compass bearings. So again, compass points like you are seeing here will help us get an approximate location. Our compass bearing, as we can see here, still the same points. And you can see still north, north, northeast, but we are using degrees now. So our north, northeast is like 22.5 degrees, uh, 45 degrees, 67.5 degrees, 90 degrees east. Okay. This is used when we need very accurate readings like flying a plane. Look, <laughs> uh, we can't fly a plane and then say, well, you know, I'm sort of heading in the right direction. No. Okay, we need um, accurate readings and that's where they use compass bearing. We measure increasing angles clockwise with north over here being zero and this is our starting point. Okay, so they just put north, 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 east and these things in here so that you don't get confused with only um, the uh, degrees. Okay, so that's the difference between your, your compass bearing and your compass points. So let's look at two examples. Here's our map. And generally this is what you'll get with some sort of a grid um, because they'll usually tell you that you, know, you are based somewhere in here. Now have a look at this. What did we say? What did we say? The general direction of the map must always be shown. Is it being shown? Yes, it is. Have a look at that. It's telling us that this direction is north. Okay, so if that is north, then we already know, you know, sort of where we are headed. Now, if I was, was to say to you, and, and this is usually how they'll um, bring up something, they'll say, if I am in this block over here, P16, right? Block P16. And I want to travel uh, via the N1 towards, let's say I'm going to go towards, Pre to, sorry, Protea. Yeah, Protea. Um, in what direction am I going to be going? So if I go back to my compass points and I have a look at that being north and I bring that over here. In fact, I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bring that over here and... I should be headed in a northwesterly direction. Remember, this is north. This would be west. And you could work that out to be somewhere in between. So more or less somewhere around northwesterly or northwesterly direction. Here's another one. Again, a grid. We've got our map. We've even got a key. So the key is important because this will indicate when you look at this, for example, over here, you'll see, oh, there's like a little road with some dots in it. But when you look over here at your key, it's actually indicating that that is a railway. Okay, um, this is our national routes, you know, things, things like that. This is an international border over here. And they give us the scale. Okay, do they give us directions? Haha, -ha. bottom right hand corner, north, east, south, west, right. There we go. So let's look at some of the questions that they can possibly ask us. They could ask us, in which grid block do you find Nongoma? And guys, have a look at that. Two marks, okay? So let's have a look. Ah, there's Nongoma. That would be C, 
3. So you're getting a mark for the row and the column, sort of like uh, Microsoft Excel. <laughs> okay, in which general direction? Now, you see, when we talk about general direction, then we're talking about like north, east, south, west, etc. Um, are you traveling if you are going from Manzini to Ermelo? Sorry, I keep moving forward. So there's Ermelo, there's Manzini. Now, if this is my north, east, south, west, I'm traveling in a westerly direction. From Freya to Pitretif. There's Pitretif. Where's Freya? Here's Freya. I'm traveling straight up. I'm traveling in a northerly direction. So those are the kind of questions you can see. I estimate the distance. What is the actual area in kilometers squared represented by one grid? And that you'll have to work out according to the scale. Um, estimate the total combined area of the game reserve and the elephant reserve. So you'll have to look at these and see exactly where every thing is so there you can see there's your elephant reserve the game reserve so guys these are just a few examples of the type of questions and you can see the mark allocation when it comes to this so i hope this helps you now clear up exactly what compass direction is